everybody, this is Cheryl from Lady Behind the Curtain and on this video I'm going to demonstrate how to decorate pretzels two ways. The first way is by just drizzling candy melts over your pretzel and adding sprinkles. And then the second way, you completely dip your pretzel in the candy melts and coat them with, this, with the colored sugar. Now it is super easy to decorate pretzels but you just cannot beat the sweet and salty flavor that these little treats give you. They're super versatile, they're perfect for any occasion. You could take them as a small gift to someone. Or if you have this awesome dessert table and you need just one more thing to add, you need to add these treats. So, let's get to it. Okay, I already have my candy melts ready to coat my pretzels. So now, you're gonna wanna take your pretzel and completely coat it with the melted candy. Make sure it gets completely coated on there. Now I use Wilton candy melts with a little bit of shortening to get it nice and creamy. Now you're gonna want to tap, 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 get all that excess candy off and then kind of just slide your spoon across it to get any excess. You're gonna lay it on a piece of wax paper on a can cookie sheet and then continue on. Usually it takes about a minute and 30 seconds to melt my candy. And now place your coated pretzels in the refrigerator once they are hardened. Then a trick of mine, there's always excess chocolate or candy that comes off of your pretzel. So I use my microplaner and I get that off. And that leaves you with a really nice clean edge and once you get all that done you can place it back and now I have my different colors and I already added my shortening to my candy melts now they're all nice and melted I have a cup and I place a small Ziploc bag inside my cup to serve as my piping bag and then I pour my melted candy into that and then I go ahead and do the other one now once you get all your melted candy in in your bags then I use some scissors and I snip a corner off. Now you'll notice that I snipped the corner that does not have any candy in it and the reason for that is this is really hot and it will just drizzle right out of that hole. So you need to snip your hole at the opposite end and make sure it's a tiny hole because you can always make it bigger but you want this drizzle to be nice and fine. So now you're going to take it and squeeze it now over to the other end where it is snipped and just finely drizzle and I always start off of my pretzel and then come to the pretzel that way if you if it's clogged or whatever you can get that out of it and then I squeeze the end of it and lay it on top of itself and now you just continue on with your second color and do the same thing And then after you get your second color on, you're going to add your sprinkles to that. And then lift it off and put it on another cookie sheet that is lined with wax paper. And then to continue on with the other pretzels, you'll just fold that messed up area on top of itself and continue on to use the same piece of wax paper. I found that it's a lot cleaner if you do it this way so you can pull pull the pretzel up off and onto another sheet and then you get a nice clean pretzel. Now we're going to go on to our sugar coated ones. I have it, the candy is nice and creamy. I'm going to use a crystal, a rainbow crystal sugar. Now you're going to do the same as you did with that first one. You're going to completely coat it just like before and do your tapping very important step otherwise you're going to have a mess on your hands 
It's very important when you're doing the sugar that you get a lot of that excess off. That way, the heaviness of the sugar won't make your, your candy drip all inside of your sugar. So now you're going to completely coat it. Since I have so much of it, I can just pour it right on. And make sure you dip that tip in there and you get it completely coated. And now, since nothing dripped, I can put it right back in my container so I can continue on to the next one. And there you have it, our pretty pretzels that we just made. Here are a few more ideas from Lady Behind the Curtain. I hope you learned something from this video, and next time you're asked to bring something to a gathering, you bring decorated pretzels.